In this video, we're gonna talk about the right and the wrong way to advertise for your online store, as well as we're gonna hop into my computer and I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up Facebook ads to be very targeted for your audience. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Elle McCann, and if you're new here, I've been a Shopify expert for over six years now. So a huge pet peeve of mine is to get actual printed mailers in the mail at my home. Not only is it a waste of trees and printing and ink and postage, also it's just a waste of their money. And as an online marketer, it really frustrates me. So for example, this is for a contact lens company when I don't need contact lenses. And this is for a mattress company. I don't need a mattress. This is a local business that is a piano store, which is a very niche product. And they're saying that they're new to the area. While that's great, they could do instead a Facebook ad campaign that's focused on leads and awareness that they're targeting people within a 25 mile radius. And they're also targeting people that have musicians or some kind of interest that they have in music. However, I am not a musical person and I live over an hour and a half away. So the likelihood that I'm going to purchase a piano or get my piano fixed, it's gonna be really, really low. But if you think about it, they had to purchase you know, someone's time to design this. They had to get it printed. They had to actually get it sent out, so postage as well. And they probably had to purchase my home address from some kind of list that promised different results to them. This was a waste of money. Instead, what they could be doing is doing online ads, as I mentioned. So for them, they could do a reach or awareness campaign, like I said, since they're new to the area. Or if you're wanting to really convert people that are most likely to be purchasing from you, then you could go and do a conversion campaign. So I'm really passionate about not wasting your money. And I see so many people that are just not setting up their ads right. Either I'm getting printed mailers that I shouldn't be getting, or I'm getting ads online where I'm like, how in the world am I their ideal target? It just doesn't make sense. And someone messed up this ad, you could tell. So we're gonna hop into my computer now, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I set up Facebook targeting so that I can make sure that I'm very niche with my audience and that my ads are getting in front of the right people. So let's go into my computer now. Okay, so I am in my Facebook ads manager now and I am in a new campaign and I'm in the ad set area. So you can see that up here. So I've set this up as a conversion campaign to be focused on conversions. But so you can see here, I have my conversion event of purchase. So this would actually be getting them to come to the site and purchase. So that's what we're gonna be testing this uh, and setting it up for. So if you already have an audience, you can create that or select it here. But I'm going to go in now and have this be a little bit more targeted. So for example, like the mailer that I had showed for the piano company, we would go in and I'm gonna show you how I would set that up and target an audience instead of doing a mailer, but instead doing Facebook ads. So we're going to, this is automatically set up as the US, which is where I'm at. Now this company was located in Nashville, Tennessee. So I'm going to come in and select Nashville, Tennessee. And you can see here it's default of a 25 mile radius. I can make that a little bit bigger, but I think that's actually a pretty good size um, considering how Nashville and the surrounding areas are laid out. Okay, and then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna change the age range. A lot of 18 year olds probably would not be buying or getting a piano fix. So I'm gonna make this a little bit higher and set the minimum age at 30 and then keep that 65 plus and do men and women as well because I think that would be both genders. Now into the detailed targeting, this is where you have a lot of cool things that you can do. So we can come in and we can do it by demographic, interest, or behaviors, but we can also just type in here uh, something that we're looking for as well. So we can just type in piano. So this is for people who have expressed an interest or pages related to piano. So we can select a couple different ones of these 
um, and then we can narrow it down from there. So we can go ahead and choose piano. We can do piano teacher. So I'm really just kind of picking all the things that people who are slightly interested in pianos would be interested in. So piano tiles. I'm not sure what this is related to. Uh, again, I'm not a musician, so I would have to go in and just research that a little bit more to see if this would relate to it, as well as the piano guys. So now that we've got some kind of basic demographic and interest in, we can then go in and narrow the audience more. So if we click narrow audience, this means that they must be in this group plus also one of the following. So let's come in now and see, you know, what musician gets us. So this is actually a pretty good size audience. So I'm going to move this actually up to here as an interest as well, just to make that top area maybe a little bit bigger. So now with the narrowing of audience, we may want to target people who are engaged. So those are people that have previously clicked on a link or purchased something from an ad in the you know, last, let's see, this is last week. So this engaged shoppers. So we can come in here and we can see how originally this was 930,000 people, now it's 200,000 people but we have people that are gonna be a lot more engaged. So you could continue to go through, maybe there's a, another piano company in the area. So we could say narrow even further and make it be people that have liked that page and we can target them in this area here. So you're really just narrowing down a lot more into people who would potentially purchase from you. And you'll be doing the same for your e-commerce store as well. So let's say that you are selling women's apparel. So obviously you would wanna come up here. You may wanna change the age ranges, select it to just be women. You could then come in and change this detail targeting to be more things that are pages that women like. If you have a, a certain style that you have a competitor that's similar to that, you could put this into the detail targeting and you could still keep it to where they're an engaged shopper. So it's gonna be more likely people to click on your ads and purchase from you. So it's a great way to really narrow in on different people. And I love using this narrow further and you can continue to keep doing it. So for example, uh, for me, if I was wanting to target other businesses, I may have different interests about Shopify up here at the top. And then next, it may be people that are Facebook page admins and then down here would be engaged shoppers. So you can continue to narrow down three different levels and each way they have to match each of the following. So you're getting people that are really targeted and you know are going to be good fits for the ads that you are showing. So I hope you found that helpful and I would love to know what is it that your business is in and what niche or industry and who are you looking at targeting online? Did you get anything helpful from this video in terms of who else you could be targeting? Make sure to comment below and let us know. Also, if you're interested in more strategies on how to get more traffic and sales to your online store, make sure to check out our traffic blueprint, which is a guide that goes exactly through the steps of both optimizing your store, understanding your existing site traffic, getting organic traffic to your site and paid advertising strategies as well. It's only $37 for a limited time. So click the link below or in the info card somewhere to go ahead and get that. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and check out the videos over here to see more videos and tips and tutorials just like this one. Thanks so much.